a thread by Brian Cates. Schiff just walked into a trap. Read the part about the Codell travel records, which were supposed to have been disclosed in the congressional record by now, but they were left out. From the Federalist.com, Schiff learned of Russian bounty intelligence in February withheld information. It was never supposed to come out that Schiff's own staff had been in Afghanistan in February and were briefed on the Russian bounty info. They tried to cover their tracks and pretend this came up independently of Schiff. That's why the trip isn't in the congressional record. But once again, just as with the Ukraine hoax and Charmarella, Schiff and his staff are coordinating this hoax behind the scenes, then acting like it's being brought to them by whistleblowers. Oh, what I would have given to be a fly on the wall as that gang of eight briefing on the Russian bounty classified intel as Schiff tried to explain to the other seven members why he didn't say one damn word about this to them since February. See, Schiff had this unverified and uncorroborated Russian bounty classified info in his hands back in February, and he didn't say anything to anybody about it. And then in late June, it was leaked to the New York Times with the claim the president had been briefed on it. So after Schiff and top Democrats and the fake news media had spent several days shrieking that Trump had betrayed our troops by doing nothing with this Russian bounty information, Adam Schiff gets completely outed and exposed. Schiff also knew about the Russian bounty classified information. What'd he do with it? Well, gee, let's check the record. He did, that's right, nothing. He did nothing with it. Probably because it was, let's all say it together, uncorroborated and unverified. So, Schiff has this info since February, sits on it, does nothing with it. Then all of a sudden, somebody leaks this highly classified information on Russian bounties to the New York Times with the false claim that Trump had been briefed on it. It's all going according to plan. And then the unthinkable happened. Somebody put out the info that Schiff's staff had been in Afghanistan on a Codel, and while there, they had been briefed on this unverified Russian bounty classified intelligence. Let me tell you what happened here. Schiff and the Democrats do not try this latest highly illegal classified leak unless they've been assured there is a firewall and tripwires that will protect them. Schiff thought he had erased all traces of his staff being in Afghanistan and getting that briefing. The Codel was not entered into the congressional record. Somebody assured Schiff it was safe to go ahead and do this leak and then gin up another impeachment hoax. It was never supposed to come out that Schiff's staff had gotten that Afghanistan briefing on the Russian bounties in February. That could never happen. That must not happen. And yet, it has. It has happened. And now he's trapped. Can't you see that he's trapped? Schiff is now tied directly to the classified intel that was leaked to the New York Times right in the middle of his berating President Trump for doing nothing after he was briefed on what was supposedly actionable intelligence, the curtain drops and Schiff screams in surprise. The very same information he was claiming to have learned about only when it was leaked by some unknown party to the New York Times, Schiff is now directly tied to it. He can't deny. Has he denied it? 
How hard would it be for him to say, I did not know this in February? Has Schiff come out over the past three days and said anything even remotely like, why no? In fact, my staff, staff never took a code to Afghanistan. They were not briefed on these Russian bounties. I don't know where this rumor comes from. I didn't know in February. In fact, the very next day after the Federalist broke the Russian bounty hoax wide open with that report, the gang of eight hastily assembled and briefed at last on the info Schiff had been sitting on since February. From foxnews.com, Gang of Eight gets Russia bounty briefing amid confusion over Trump's role. Quote, after a briefing by White House officials on several top House Democrats on Tuesday, House Intelligence Committee Chairman Representative Adam Schiff, Democrat of California, complained that the right people to give me the briefing were not in the room. That was CIA Director Gina Haspel and NSA Head Paul Nakasone that gave the briefing. So... I have no idea what Schiff is babbling about there. Schiff and Democrats played their usual game here, and somebody set them up. They must have been assured Schiff and his staff would never be tied to the classified info that was going to be leaked to the New York Times. They had plausible deniability, and now they've lost it. Let me tell you one of the Biggest reasons I'd have loved to have been in that room for that Gang of Eight briefing. CIA Director Haspel already filed with the DOJ a criminal complaint about the criminal leak of this classified Russian bounty intelligence. Yes, the DOJ is already investigating the criminal leak. From the Washington Examiner, CIA filed crimes report with Justice Department over Russia Taliban bounty leak. The very next day after filing that criminal complaint with the DOJ over the illegal leak of classified information, CIA Director Haspel is briefing Adam Schiff as part of the Gang of Eight on the Russian bounty intel. I'd have loved to have seen their exchanges. They tried the exact same playbook they did with the Ukraine phone call hoax. And this time, someone sprang a trap on Schiff and company right in the middle of the launch while they were pounding the table in their fake outrage. This is twice now the Democrats tried to launch a new impeachment hoax that blew up on them far, far too early. Remember back in March, the play was to claim that Trump was briefed on the virus in January and did nothing, and they were getting ready to investigate that? <laughs> that was also derailed early. So they sat down in June and put their heads together and came up with this Russian bounty hoax for their new impeachment attempt. And it didn't even last one week.